Okay, I just opened up GarageBand and I am going to look for the plus sign to start a new project. I have options at the top, either live loops or tracks. I'm going to go with the live loops and my next thing I need to do is just pick a genre. I'm going to go chill for my ringtone. Takes a moment for all of the sounds to load, but when it does, you'll see lots of different loops here. I can tap one to listen to it. I can tap another to add to it. record about eight minutes. Then I just press the stop button and I can go back and listen to it. Sounds pretty good. I'm ready to add in some effects. So I just tap on FX and it gives me some different options. Um, I can play, press play and test them out. have some that you like go back to the beginning press record and now we are recording the effects with the loops and press stop when you're done and then you can play it back to listen Once you're happy with it, then you can save it. And to save it, I'm going to go to my songs in the top left corner. It looks like a little piece of paper bent over. I'm going to tap on there and it's going to save it for me. It saved it as my song and I can tap there and give it a better name. I'm going to call it ringtone. Now it is saved here and I can share it. So to share, I press down and hold and it brings up some options. I'll go share, and you can share the project, ringtone, or song. I just wanna share the ringtone, and it'll ask you to name the ringtone and where you wanna share it, and it's pretty much going to just share it to your ringtone file on your device. Um, I will press, oh, I already have one named that. Ringtone to press export, and it will send it. Once it finishes sending it, it'll actually ask you if you want to assign it right away. It's successful, so I could say use sound as just a regular ringtone text. I can assign it to a contact. Um, doesn't matter too much. I'm gonna save it as my standard ringtone. So if I get a notification, it's going to play on here. Thank you.